Okay, boys and girls, this is Greg Larson, my husband, and he's gonna help show us how to make our dog sleds. So the first thing he's gonna show you is all the supplies I've put in front of your group are enough supplies that each of you will get the amount that he tells you you need. So watch the video, and then each step that he tells you, grab that out of the supplies in front of you. So start with what you need, Greg. Okay, you're gonna need two of the longer sticks. They're not popsicle sticks. They're flat on the ends, not rounded, and they're a little longer. About the same width as a popsicle stick, but longer. So each you need two of those. You need two of those. A total of how many popsicle sticks? You're gonna need a total of seven of the regular popsicle sticks. That's these. Seven of those each. Four of those will make the base. Two of those will make the back of the sled, and one we'll use to glue the members together. And then you're gonna need three of the long skinny popsicle sticks of those. And then you're gonna need four of the little stubby pieces of wood that are round, four of those. And you'll need a piece of sandpaper each. Piece of sandpaper and your group will have a plier. And that's how you're gonna cut the popsicle sticks. So to start, we're going to take four popsicle sticks. We're going to line them up nice and straight. Okay, and then each one of you need to do this to make your own sled. So right now you should all be lining up your four popsicle sticks. Don't get them stuck to anything else. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to cut off one end of this, just the very tip of it. We don't want it rounded anymore. So Wait, that's a normal popsicle stick, not the long skinny stick. ones. Yes. Just cut off the tip of it. Just this much. Just a little bit so that it's not rounded anymore. And just squeeze the fire. And look, you'll have a straight edge then. Yep, a straight edge. And if it's not, that's what you got your sandpaper for. You just flatten it out. And then it'll become straight. Okay? Now you need to measure across the four popsicle sticks. And then just mark with your pencil. And it can't hang over the edge of the popsicle sticks, but you want it right to the edge. Right to the edge. And then you're going to cut it again with the plier. On that line that you just drew. Yeah. There's your piece. And then smooth that side out that you just cut yep. with your sandpaper. Doesn't have to be totally exact. It just has to be close. But don't have it hang over. And then you need to make one more. For the back. Okay. For the other side. You can do the same thing, you're gonna draw it with your pencil, a straight line, and then cut it off at that line, just like so. And we're gonna just smooth that out a little bit. And then you're gonna glue these on, probably about a, a little over a half inch from the ends. Okay, let me get closer to see. Okay, show them how to hot glue. So you can take the hot glue gun. You're just going to put a little line of glue right here. On the popsicle sticks, not the little piece, because it's too hard to get it on the little piece. Glue it where across there. And then, then put the little piece right on top of it. And notice how the popsicle sticks are even. He made sure they were even. Now he's going to do the back side. He's going to do the back side, same thing. And if you, need, if you need to, you could draw a line and then put the glue right on top of that line. So then we're going to take that popsicle stick. We're going to squeeze it on there and let that all set up. So this is the bottom of your sled upside down. Now. So that's the bottom part and it's flipped over. Okay, now we're going to take the four little round pieces, these pieces. Okay. We're gonna put a dab of glue on each edge of these because these are gonna sit on there. So, so it goes on the thing you just glued on. Yep, we're gonna put a dot right of glue there. right there. And we're gonna take one of these and we're gonna go boom. There it goes. It's glued on there. You're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Boom, and see what happens? It sticks to you every once in a while. And then you go here. Do it again. And we're gonna go here. 
Now we have all four of them in place. The reason we did that is so that our skis aren't sitting. The runners of the sled. That's the long, big pieces. So now the two long pieces that were not popsicle sticks that were straight on the ends, those are your runners. So now when you glue, you're gonna have to put a dab of glue here and a dab of glue here because you're gonna put one stick on there. So you're gonna put a dab of glue here. You're gonna put a dab of glue here. Okay. Oh, and then you gotta make this kinda even. Yep, you gotta kinda make it even. You want the hangout to be about the same. However much is on this side is a little different than one on the back side or what the front side. You oh, wait, you want the back side a little bit longer because that's where they stand, remember? That's where the musher stands. So we want the back side back here by his finger back here a little bit longer. Yep, but now you want to try to make sure you get them about the same so it looks good. And you just squeeze it in place. And there's the base of your sled. Got to set it on the board so they can see yep. it. See how it stands up a little bit? And like this would be the back. See how they're a little bit longer? That's where they're going to stand. And this is the front. Okay, so that's the base of the sled. Now we're going to take the last two popsicle sticks. And you're going to need a ruler. I am cheating because I have a board with a ruler on it. I am just going to go see how long they are. They are four and a quarter inches. So that is, or four and a half inches. So that's going to be two and a quarter inches. Because what I want to do is I want to cut these in half. Okay, so remember, you go over the two mark on your ruler. You can show them right here. There's to the ruler. half? Two and a half or no, two and a quarter? They're, they're, Don't go to the half mark, two and a quarter. It's the big hash mark before the half. It's in between two and three. But it's not at the half. It's the quarter. Yeah, Draw what we're a trying line. to do is we're just trying to get these cut in half. Because this is going to make the back of the sled. So see how I marked them? And here we go. I'm going to cut them on the line again. I'm just going to go here. And I'm going to go here. Okay. Now we're going to go back to the sandpaper. Smooth them all up. Okay, now that we got these four done, you can line them up as best as you can. Doesn't matter if they're not perfect, you know. Um, now I'm gonna take one of these skinny popsicle sticks and we're gonna cut it off at the end, just like we did with the big ones because we don't need the rounded end. Just, just nip off a little bit at the end so that it's square. And we'll, and we have to use this the same way we did the braces on the bottom, but we're going to do them on here. So we're going to go here. Why are we using a skinny one instead of a normal popsicle stick? Because it looks better. Oh, okay. <laughs> Goes there. And then we cut it. And then we're going to cut it down here. Again, because we're going to have two pieces for this. We're gonna glue it like we did at the base so that we can make a back to the sled. And there we go. And then you gotta sand them smooth again. Yep. Okay, so now we got our four popsicle sticks that are cut in half. We're gonna square them up in the bottom because you just need the bottoms to be square. What we're gonna do first is we're gonna do like we did before. We're gonna line them up. Just get them all squared. And put glue across them to glue them together? Yep. But we wanna glue the bottom side first. And what we wanna do is we wanna take one of these popsicle sticks even with the bottom, flush with the bottom, so that it's all a solid piece in the bottom because that'll make a bigger surface to glue onto the back of the sled, okay? So your little strip of glue that you're gonna put on right now is gonna be kind of close to the bottom. It's gonna be all along the bottom edge, okay? 
So you gotta go right here. Oops. Oh, don't do that. Okay, so all four of them lined up. And then we're gonna just put this little piece right on there, even with the bottom. Okay. Okay, so that makes the bottom. You see how it's all evened up? And if you do get some glue that's a little bump, just take it over your sandpaper, get a little sand, but be very gentle with it, and you'll smooth it all out, okay? Now we're gonna do the same on the top. We're gonna take the four. But wait, the top's not flush, is it? Doesn't have to be flush, you want it down a little bit. So this one, you're gonna put your strip of glue down a little bit from the curved. Yeah, you can go down about, you know, half inch or so. You're gonna do another straight line. And then you're just gonna glue that on like so. And then you have the back of your sled. Okay. So now that it's all done, we have to glue it onto the sled. Okay. So now it's longer in the back because that's where the musher is going to stand, right? So this is going to glue this way. We want the, these pieces towards the back. And you, is it going to be flush with the back? can be flush or very close to the edge. So you're gonna need a strip of glue now on your sled. On the very back. Be sure it's on the side with the skis that are longer because it's the back of your sled. Put your glue strip along there. And you might want a little wider bead of glue this time. And it goes with the, the little loopy ends on the top. And now you need to hold this while it dries. Okay, this isn't as quick. You got to like count to at least 20 while you hold it there slowly. One, two, three, four. And pushing down a little bit so that it's connecting. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20. It should be good. It should be good. See how it stands, everybody? Okay. Okay, now these two longer ones that you have left, they're going to be the side rails of the um, sled. sled. And it's going to go from this spot here down to here like so. So that top piece that you glued onto the back that's up by the little bumpy curves, you're going to glue that stick onto it, but it's going to go past a little bit so that it sticks out. Yep because it's gonna be flush at the bottom. So maybe lay your sled on the slide like he did. Yep, and you're gonna to wanna to glue right here where there's two spots of wood, and right here where it's a little wider of wood, where the, the little... Little peg is holding. Yep. So put a drop of glue at the top handle part there, That's and then on the little peg and base. Oh no, I'm out of glue. Now the bottom of the stick is flush with the little peg and the top hangs over the back. Yep. Now hold that in place because that's going to hold it in place. Now we're going to do the same thing on the other side. And you want to make it pretty much the same because you want it to be the same length out the back. So you're going to kind of want to look at it first so you know how far you have to go. So look at your other one, go like this, and go like that. Okay, and I'm gonna do. And the glue dot has to go again on the See? top or the handle piece you put on to hold the back and down there on that bottom peg. Now when you glue this on, try to line up the back part because that's gonna be part of the handle, okay? And don't hang over the runners on the front because then it'll get stuck in the snow on your sled. Okay, so then that's that, okay? Push it down to hold it on there. It's on there. Okay. 
Okay, now I gotta grab one more piece because you're gonna need one more piece to complete your dog sled. Oh, whoops, we didn't give you enough at the beginning. No, we're missing the, the handle. Okay, for the handle, Mrs. Larson's got some long sticks. There's not enough of these to share, so you have to cut them off as you need them, okay? And that's gonna go between here. So what you need to do is you need to take that stick and measure the distance. So come up to me when you're ready to do this and I'll come back with the long skinny ones. And then you're gonna have to cut it like so. And it's gonna take a little bit more, it's a little thicker, okay? But it will cut. And then you're gonna have to sand it. And you might have to sand a little bit more to make it fit. Don't over, don't force it. And then you're just gonna glue it in there, okay? So put glue on. Now you're gonna put glue in here. I'll right by the edge of your sticks, on the inside of each stick. And then this handle piece that you just cut is gonna go there and then you gotta squeeze your little pieces together. And then count again to 20. And if you cut it too short, you might have to make a new stick. No, I don't have a lot. I don't have extra sticks, so they can't. But if they do, they can use a square one, too. Oh, well, I'd rather have a round one, so. Yeah. 12, 15, okay. Okay. And then there, there's your dog sled. Okay, now this is the basic sled. Now, you can either choose to put sides like that with um construct or uh, cardstock paper which i'll have different colors and you could choose and then greg has a pattern where we could trace the cardstock and you're going to glue this in so it would be a solid side like this or if you want a sled that has rails rails on it like this and there's no construction paper on it you have to choose and then you cut the ones for the wood and i'll have two examples up there so if you do this one, you gotta come get a pattern and cut the uh, construction paper and slide in. If you choose this one, you need to come get some more flat sticks that you're gonna cut and hot glue gun on the inside. And he's not gonna show you that step because- They're all different, a little bit different. If you do the construction, you need to get a couple little pieces of popsicle stick on the inside so that the bottom part of the construction paper can glue to it. Okay. You can see that in Mrs. Larson's example. Okay, and then if you do this one, you'll just have to measure and cut the little popsicle sticks to fit in there. And these are the thin ones, right? Yeah, or they can use the straight wood pieces too. Because you can take these and put in there, just like so. Okay, and I have a lot of those so we could cut them to go in there. It's up yeah. to you what kind of sled. So this or this. And this is before you put your sides on. And I think that and is This it. is the basic sled. Now you just want to pick off the little glue strings. And there you go. You have yourself a dog sled example. Okay, and I'm gonna have, I'm gonna stop this and then I have to upload it to YouTube or something. Okay. Bye. I don't know how to stop.